Thank you so much for joining me, friends, on this Friday Pray Together episode. I just love that people all around the world can join together in prayer to the God of heaven and earth who commits himself to help those who call on his name, to make himself available to the needs of his children. And that's you and me as we place our faith in Jesus Christ. Today, we have a a large number of requests, so I'm just going to warn you right up front. This may be a longer episode, and I also want to encourage you, you can pause at any time and come back to these episodes and finish praying later on. And I do encourage you to pray with me as we go through these requests so that we can join together in faith and help our brothers and sisters around the world who have submitted requests. Moving forward, if you would like to submit a request to be considered for one of these Pray Together episodes, you can do so by going, first of all, to the description in your podcast player or app. There should be a link there to the form that will allow you to submit a prayer request. But if you don't have access to your app for some reason and need to go to a website, you can go to carrygreen.com. That's C-A-R-E-Y, green, just like the color, dot com, slash, prayer. And there's the form where you can fill out your request. Okay, let's go to prayer today. We have a number of requests, but also some praises. And we're going to start off with one of those. Lord Jesus, we are so grateful for the way you have answered prayer for our brother Oladayo. He says he wants to praise God for the financial help that has been provided for him so that he can pursue his master's degree. He asked us to pray with him regarding this a few weeks back, and he says everything's moving smoothly, and he's about to apply for his study permit. Lord God, we thank you for being the God who cares, the God who provides for the things that you desire for us to do in our lives. And in this case, for our brother, you've provided finances so that he can go to school. We're so grateful. We're so thankful. We pray that you will continue to cause this process to move forward smoothly, that his study permit would come through and that it would be done in an expedient manner so he doesn't have to wait long. Lord, he also wants to praise you for restoring his brother's faith. He says he is so happy, his family is so happy for the transformation that has happened in his brother's life. Lord, we know that changes like this come about because you are good and because you take initiative to hear the prayers of your people and to act or simply to act out of your sovereign will, Lord. We are grateful that Oladayo's brother has returned in faith to you. We ask you to solidify his faith and strengthen him in his faith, that he will be your man. He will be moving forward in faith strong for you in the days to come. We have an anonymous request from a brother who says he's very anxious about a career move that he's been working on for the past one and a half years, and he would love for us to pray for your peace and your comfort to surround him. Lord God, I understand the tenuous position it can be to be considering a career change, and it sounds like this brother has been considering it for quite some time. Lord, I ask that you would give him a sense of your presence that brings peace to him, that he would follow the instruction of the book of Philippians, where it says he is present to present his cares to you and to cast them on you, and that the peace of Christ will rule his heart and his mind. Lord, it's our desire that you would do that. It's our desire that you would bring that about for his sake and for your glory, Lord. He's also asking us to pray for he and his wife as they start the attempts to have children. He says he's very excited about the idea of becoming a father, but his dad was not a good example, and he's very nervous. I assume that he might repeat some of the errors that he saw in his own father's parenting. Lord, We do know, along with this brother's affirmation of faith, that you can help him to be a better father. You can help him to break the chains of dysfunction and whatever else was going on, Lord. We ask you in Jesus' mighty name, first off, to enable he and his wife to conceive and to bear a child. And Lord, that he and his wife would be godly parents, that you would guide them in understanding how to shape and form the hearts of this this little child to be a follower of you, a passionate, zealous follower of Jesus Christ, Lord. Equip them, Lord. I pray that you would enable them to listen to good teaching and good mentoring that can guide them. Lord, if our parenting podcast that we produce would be helpful to them, I pray that you would guide them to that as well, Lord. We're grateful for this brother's faith, his confidence that you can help him, and we pray that you would do so, Lord. Our sister Wendy says she is battling a chronic illness 
and is asking us to pray for healing. She is seeing a new doctor soon and would like to get some insight and wisdom and direction from that uh, medical professional. So Lord, we ask you who understand every detail of what's going on in Wendy's body to bring about deliverance for her from this illness. Lord, whatever is going on, we know that you can heal it. We know you are the great healer. We pray that it would be your will, Lord, that you would heal her, that you would touch her body and give her just a great sense of your care through this provision of healing. But Lord, if you want to use a doctor to do that as well, we ask you, Lord, to give that doctor insight, to give them wisdom, and to help them diagnose accurately. I think sometimes our frustration with the medical profession is that we as human beings, doctors included, are flawed in our perceptions. We don't always understand what we think we understand. And so, Lord, in this case, we ask you to give this doctor clarity to see the cause of the problems and to be able to bring solutions to the table that are effective and that are wise. Lord, that it would be a perception and a, and a process that is more than just about medication. It's about prevention and it's about addressing the root cause. Lord, we ask you to do this for our sister, Wendy, in Jesus' name. Wendy also asks us to pray for her 14-year-old daughter who does not yet know Jesus. Her name is Willow. Lord, we ask you to bend deep, to bend low, and to reach down into Willow's heart and to grant her a sense of repentance, grant her a sense of wonder at who you are and that you would love her at all. Lord, that you would help her to see the contrast between her fallen sinfulness and your amazing holy grace And that you draw her to yourself, that she would live like a forgiven young woman, that she would turn her life completely to you and would allow you to work the changes that only you can, Lord. We ask that you give her a simple, childlike faith that is not childish, but is strong and is valiant as a strong woman of God, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Amelia is praising the Lord along with us, Lord, for an answered prayer that you have provided a place for her and for her dogs to live. She was very concerned they wouldn't find a place. And Lord, it is such a blessing when the answers to prayer come. And we just rejoice with Amelia right now, Lord, that you're doing such a good thing in her life by giving her this new home. And Lord, we pray that she and her dogs could settle in, that it would be a safe location for them, and that they would be a blessing to those around them. Lord, use her as a light in the place that she's living to point others to you, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. We have an anonymous request from a sister here who says the place that she works actively funds abortion and it grieves her heart. She feels terrible having to be a part of that that, uh, business, Lord. And she's asking you to provide guidance and uh, the right open doors to be able to leave her current work and find a new job where she would not have to be supportive of this terrible thing. And Lord, we, first off, I just admire this sister's uh, desire to do what is right and to honor you with even the outgrowth of what she does in her work. And so, Lord, we ask you to open the doors, to give her opportunities, to appoint someone to come along who would offer her a position that both fits her skills and enables her to be a blessing in the world and to be out of this position that is both against her conscience and against your law, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name you would provide this. Our sister Stephanie has a number of situations in her life that are very heavy and very burdensome. She's facing some legal issues. She also is having trouble in her marriage. She said her seven-year-old son has special needs, and that takes lots of extra care and attention, I'm sure. And she also is in a very stressful, high-demand work scenario and is the only breadwinner in her family. She said that she often feels that she can see no light at the end of the tunnel and that the negativity kind of closes in on her. Lord, I ask you to give Stephanie, uh, first of all, just a a greater... uh, ability to see you in the midst of her difficulties, Lord. We know that you're not oblivious to it, and we know that you're not leaving her to fend for herself. We know that you are present. And so, Lord, we pray that through the grace of Jesus Christ, you'd reach into her life and you would show her your presence. You'd reveal your great grace, even in the difficult times and the stresses and strains that she feels. 
And Lord, we ask that you would provide abundantly for her and for her family, that you would enable her to see a more positive outlook because of your presence in her life, Lord, and that the things that are needed regarding the legal issues, regarding her marriage, regarding their income, Lord, that you would provide every positive way forward that they need, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Tracy is asking us to pray for her son who is battling an addiction, and he has not surrendered his life or this addiction to the Lord. So, Lord, we're asking you to reach into this young man's heart, to bring him to the end of himself, to bring him to the bottom as it concerns this addiction. Lord, that he would recognize he has no power over this and that it is ruling his life and ruining his life. Lord, we ask you to give him godly sorrow that leads to repentance and that that repentance, Lord, would be turned into a time of uh, great discovery of the grace and mercy of his Lord Jesus Christ, that he would surrender his life to you. And Lord, that you would be the answer and the hope for his life moving forward. I thank you for a mother like Tracy, who's willing to pray for her son and who I'm sure every day is battling for him in prayer. Lord, we come alongside her. We ask you to strengthen her, strengthen her resolve, encourage her spirit, grant her the ability to continue praying until the answer comes, Lord. We pray it in Jesus' name. Our sister Stella has a a praise to give you, Lord. Uh, She says you have answered prayers about her son-in-law, Amir, who lives in Australia, and he did receive a job offer there, and he's very happy with the job. He starts on Monday, Lord. Praise you for granting him this position. Praise you for providing in the ways that we ask, Lord. I remember praying for him here. I remember just the concern that was on Stella's heart, and I, I just thank you, Lord, for bringing relief and bringing assurance that you are providing for Amir there in his new place of of abode, Lord. We're so grateful. We ask that you would grant him favor in his work. You would enable him to do the job diligently and with excellence in a way that brings favor among his superiors and among his colleagues, Lord, that he would be a blessing there for the sake of Jesus and that you would cause him to be a light in his his workplace. Enable him to serve his employer, to serve his customers and, and clients with excellence, Lord. We ask you to do it in Jesus' name. Stella also is excited because she's been teaching her granddaughter, Lily, the scriptures, and Lily seems very keen to learn. Uh, She's also coming to church with her some Sundays, and Lord, we ask that you would build upon the great work that you've begun in her life when she accepted Christ as her Savior, Lord. Enable her to grow in you, to walk in you, to know you personally, Lord, and to be uh, consistent in her walk with you, even as she grows into a young woman, Lord. Cause this to be a time of great flourishing for Lily. As her grandmother guides you, guides her, Lord, we're so thankful for your work in her life. Stella is also asking us to pray for Lily's father, Bono, that he would come back to you, Lord. I pray too that, Lord, that you would call the prodigal home. Whatever has caused him to turn away or has caused him to become enamored with other things, Lord, you would enable him to see the great treasure that you are, to turn his heart to you in faith, to be drawn to you by affection and by kindness and by the things that you've just poured out in his life in terms of grace and mercy, and that he would come back to you, Lord, with a a humble, generous, uh, gracious heart of repentance, Lord. We ask that you would do it in Jesus' name. Adabawale is asking us to pray for him regarding help with his career and his future. Lord, we ask that your hand would be on him, that you would guide his actions, you would guide him down the path that you have planned out for him, that he would be able to overcome his debt and to restore his life and his, his business, Lord. I ask that you would enable him to see your provision in ways that he's never dreamed of, in ways that don't seem possible, Lord, that you would bring about great grace and great encouragement and a great sense of your provision, Lord, so that our brother Adabawale would be encouraged in you and that his faith would be strengthened so that others can see the work you're doing in his life and he can testify to it with his own lips and people can be convinced by the grace you're pouring out in his life that you're real and that you're gracious and that you're good and that you are alongside your own taking care of them. Lord, we have another anonymous request from a sister who's asking us to pray for her spouse 
who has been battling an addiction for years, Lord. We are so mindful of the power that addictions have. We are so mindful of how we turn to other things rather than to you to receive comfort and to re- receive a temporary kind of a strength. But Lord, that those addictions, they just they drag us down and they make us captives, slaves to them. And, and Lord, we ask for this man that you would break him free. Whatever the substance is he's addicted to, whatever the, the sinful pattern of behavior that fuels it, Lord, we ask you to break him free in Jesus' name. We ask you to enable him to be free, that his life would be transformed by the grace of Jesus, and that it all would stem from him coming into personal contact with the Savior, that Jesus' life would transform him and replace his old broken way of living with a new and redeemed way of living that Jesus alone can provide. Lord, we thank you for this wife who's praying for her husband instead of resenting him. We thank you that she's praying for him instead of living in frustration. Lord, we thank you that her heart is yours. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen her as she waits for the answer to your prayer. We ask you to uh, enable her to endure in her prayers for him, Lord, that they would prevail in Jesus' name. We have another anonymous request, Lord, a 28-year-old woman who's trying to escape an abusive relationship. She says she's come to a place where she is dependent on this man for everything, And he's very controlling. He doesn't let her apply for jobs. She has no money to leave. She has no way to take herself and her two children out of this terrible situation. But Lord, we praise you first off that she's been able to get her children out of the situation and they can live with a relative so they won't be around the abuse. But Lord, she misses them and she's desperate to get apart from this man so she can be free to be with her children and to live a life free of abuse. Lord, we ask that she and her two little boys would be set free in a miraculous way in Jesus' name. Lord, that you would be her defender, that you would come alongside and you would be the one who comes between her and the abuse, that you would cause this man to fall on his knees in repentance, that you would cause his life to be one of, of sorrowful repentance and grief, that she, he, would, he would turn to you in faith, Lord, and that you would transform him from an abuser to a protector. You transform him from one who exploits to one who encourages and generously takes care of those under his care. Lord, we ask you to bring about justice in this situation for our sister in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Stacy is asking us to pray for all of the nurses and other medical staff who are being terminated over vaccine mandates because their religious exemptions were denied. Lord, I know Stacy herself is being touched by this in in her employment, but Lord, I know that there are many in this circumstance. And so, Lord, we pray for strength as there are uncertain times ahead and loss of income potentially. We ask that these women and men who have served faithfully and who have done their best to care for others in their times of need, Lord, would be cared for now as they have a time of need. We ask you to enable them to live uh, in faith. We ask you to guide them and guard them, to bring them to faith in yourself, Lord, all across the world as the people facing this uncertainty can find certainty in you, Lord. We ask you to do it in Jesus' name. We have another anonymous request, Lord, from a sister who is asking that you would continue to open the right doors for her husband to have employment so that they can stay where they're at and not have to move. Lord, she says they as a family want to wait on God and are trusting you during this hard time. Lord, I praise you for that faith. I praise you for giving them that faith, for strengthening that faith. I ask you to strengthen it even more, to give them reliance on you that endures through this difficult time. And Lord, that you would open all the doors necessary to give this man a job where he can excel and he can be amply provided for so that he can be the provider for his family, Lord. We ask you to do so according to your glorious riches in heaven, in Jesus' name. Father, our sister Patricia is asking us to pray for her. She is seeking approval for social security disability insurance. And right now she's living on a very small amount every month and she's relying on others for additional support. Lord, she desires to sustain herself, to be able to not need to rely on the help of others. Lord, we love that desire in Patricia. You tell us that if a man or a woman will not work, they should not eat. 
And so I love, Lord, that Patricia is desiring to provide for herself. And Lord, however that would come about, we ask you to open the doors for that to happen. We ask you to give her the ability to be self-sufficient and in her mind and in her heart to know it's not really self-sufficiency, it's Jesus' sufficiency, that you're her provider, you're the one who's caring for her, and Lord, that she could boldly proclaim that as you open the doors of provision for her, Lord, that others would hear and others would know you are her sustainer and her strength. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister, Lynette, asks us to pray for her new business, that you would bless her financially and give her the ability to pay bills and invoices on time, that you would continue to flourish the business where she's providing modest, appropriate clothing for women, and that through the business, she will continue to be able to share the gospel with many women and to do so through sharing the story of her deliverance from drugs, drug addiction of 25 years, Lord. We ask you to take care of your daughter, Lynette. We ask you to open the doors of opportunity where the financial provision is present at the moment, Lord, that she would be faithful in the opportunities as they come day by day. And she would walk into the situations boldly, trusting you to provide as you bring them to her, Lord. We ask you to transform the lives of women. We ask you to do so through your faithful servant, Lynette, and that you would make her faithful in every way that she needs, Lord. She's also asking us to pray for her friend, Sarah, that you would help her as she moves into a rehab situation, that you will meet her there and guide her through her journey of recovery, Lord, that you would transform her heart, transform her mind, be her life, be her strength, Jesus. Be the one who gives her a new start, Lord. We ask that this attempt at rehab would be real, that she would recover with full strength and with full power given to her through the Holy Spirit, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Connie is asking us to pray for her and for her family, They need strength and joy right now as they've recently lost Connie's mother unexpectedly. She died on August 10th and Connie says she was the rock in the family and they're all having a difficult time coping with this loss. Lord, I ask you, as your scripture says, to be the God of all comfort for Connie and for her family. Lord, that you would be the strength they need. You'd be the comfort that they need. That as they experience this very heavy loss, you would be their sustaining power. You'd be the one to walk them through the grief. You'd be the one to open their eyes to see you in the midst of it. And that, Lord, they would be able to move forward with hope and with strength and joy, as Connie asks, Lord, because you are good and because you are their focus, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Another sister, Brooklyn, is asking us to pray for her She is in school right now to become a physician, and she hasn't been feeling motivated, Lord. We ask that you would enable her to persevere. I know that medical school and the the coursework leading up to it can be very intense and very demanding, and I can see how motivation would wane at times. And so, Lord, we ask you to provide for Brooklyn every strength that she needs every day, enable her to take a deep breath and to walk day at a time, even moment at a time as she needs to, trusting you to give her the strength for the next step, for the next book she has to open, for the next note she has to review, for the next piece of knowledge she needs to remember. Lord, we ask you to take her step by step, day by day in a course of faith that moves her to the end one step at a time. Lord, help her, strengthen her, give her joy in the journey and to not have her eyes set so much on the goal that she doesn't recognize your grace in the moment. Lord, we ask you to do that in Jesus' name. We have an anonymous sister who is asking us to pray for her brother and his wife who recently lost their four-month-old child. Lord, strengthen this couple. Give them your grace. Set their eyes on you and nothing else as their hope. Lord, I know in a time like this, there can be all kinds of questions, all kinds of doubts regarding faith. Why did you do this? Why did you allow this? How could a loving God do this? Lord, all those things are very real questions that come to our minds at times when we've experienced a loss. And I pray for this couple, Lord, that you would show them yourself in these questions. You'd show them yourself as being good, as being gracious, as being kind, as being one who is there for them.
to care for them in this loss, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to guide this man and his wife in great grace, that they will be people of faith rather than people of fear, people of strength and determination rather than people of doubt. In Jesus' name. Our sister Crystal asks us to pray for her husband's relationship with you. That's all we have, Lord. So we know that that's really all he needs. He needs a strong relationship with you. And so, Lord, we ask you to break him free of anything that is prohibiting him from coming to you in faith. Anything that's turning him toward things of this world rather than the things of God. Anything that's causing him to be steeped in pride rather than humility. Lord, break him free of those things and grant him the ability to see you as his treasure and to pursue you with all his heart, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Eldre is asking us to pray regarding a civil case against her previous company, which has been going on since May. She says that things are not going well, that she needs your intervention, that you would grant her and her lawyers the strength and the determination that they need to fight and to win this case against a massive company. Lord, she has in the meantime been unemployed and has run out of savings and needs financial help, Lord. We ask you to come alongside Eldre to sustain her in her struggle, to sustain her in this time of need, Lord, that you would provide her the the place of employment she needs. You would provide her the income that she needs. You would provide her those stopgap measures that come in the interim, Lord, that we often need. We pray you would surround her with people who can be encouraging, who can be supportive, who can be strong alongside her and for her sake, Lord. Give her everything she needs to endure this difficult time, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Father, we have another anonymous request from a sister. She says that her partner had COVID back in January and ever since has had a host of health issues that have been plaguing him, Lord. They've gone to multiple doctors and no one seems to know for sure what's going on. Because of his youth and relative inexperience, she feels that he's not often taken seriously. Lord, we ask that you would be his healer, that you would resolve every issue that's going on in his body, Lord, that you give him strength, and that if they need a medical provider, you would bring them to the right one who has the knowledge and the insight and the grace to understand what's going on and to lead them in a proper course of treatment. Lord, we ask this in the powerful and faithful name of Jesus. Our sister Gertrude asks us to pray for her mother's healing from cancer and for her sister's healing from chronic fatigue. Lord God, I thank you that Gertrude is a faithful daughter and sister to bring her mother and her sister to you in prayer, Lord. I pray you give her strength and endurance as she continues to pray for the answers to these physical problems that are besetting her mom and her sister. Lord, we do pray against this cancer and against this chronic fatigue, Lord. We pray that by your grace, you would bring healing, that you would bind every spiritual force that may be arrayed against these individuals that are bringing this sickness or causing it. But Lord, we know sometimes the sickness is right in the midst of your divine plan and that you have a purpose for it. Lord, we pray that that purpose would work itself out in these two women's lives, Lord, that you would bring them strength. You bring them eyes that will look to you in faith. You bring them hearts of faith that would be strengthened and encouraged. And Lord, that through this circumstance, you will be seen as glorious and as mighty and that you would draw these people to you in Jesus name, Lord. Amen. We pray for our sister, Michelle, who is asking us to lift up her three children and her husband. There are a lot of issues going on. Uh, her husband, first off, she is praying that uh, he, he, Marshall, would be drawn to you in salvation. Lord, that you would give him a, a repentant heart, a deeply sorrowful heart over his sin and his sinful condition. And Lord, that you would provide yourself as the answer to his every need through the grace of forgiveness and through the grace of a new heart and a new life in Jesus. Lord, that through that, you would bring a solution to his anger issues, Lord, that you would cause things to just mellow out in his heart through healing that you bring of the things that, that drive his anger, Lord. We're praying for the children, Lord. It sounds like they have been really affected by their dad. And the oldest one, her daughter, 
especially has not spoken to her dad in about seven months, and she's now at college. Lord, we ask that you would bring a resolution there that as this man comes to a saving faith in, in Jesus, he would also move to make things right with his kids. Lord, that you'd bring about restoration of relationship and you would bring about healing between them and a unity in the family, Lord. We ask as well that this daughter who seems to be responding just overall in her life in anger uh, is repeating perhaps the same patterns that her father has, has walked in. Lord, we ask that you would break her free in Jesus' name. Help her to see that she is falling into the very same thing she, dis- she just dislikes in her father. Lord, we ask you to give her repentance, give her a, a place of healing, Lord that she would be able to live a different kind of life and break these chains of dysfunction, Lord, and that the other two children would be protected from this as well, Lord. We pray for them by name, Peyton and Gracie and Wyatt, Lord. We ask you to bring your presence into their lives in great and gracious ways, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Our sister Tanya asks us to pray for Trish who is about to have open heart surgery. Lord, we ask that you would guide the hands of the surgeons. You would bring great healing to Trish in this surgery, Lord, that whatever is being done, uh, no mistakes would be be made, that no slips of the scalpel would occur, that the healing that needs to happen afterward would happen effectively and rapidly, Lord, that Trish would see your presence and your guiding hand in this in every way. Lord, I thank you for a friend like Tonya who's willing to pray for Trish. I ask that you give Tonya everything she needs to be a support to her friend, that she would be uh, an encouragement, she would be a a friendly and and heartening presence in Jesus' name. Our sister Camille is asking us to pray for her grandmother whose health is declining, and Camille lives far from her and feels like there's not much she can do to be of help, Lord. I ask that for this situation, first off, you would be present with her grandmother, you would show her yourself in new and glorious ways that the grandmother can be encouraged in faith, whether she has faith in you or not, Lord, that she would be drawn to you. She would be uh, drawn into your loving arms. And Lord, that in this time of declining health, you would strengthen her in resolve. You would strengthen her in faith to be a, a woman of faith and a woman who knows you as her Savior, Lord. We pray for Camille, Lord, that if there are ways you can bring her alongside her grandmother so she can be helpful, that you would provide for that. And you would enable it to happen, Lord. But if that is not the case and you don't want her to be able to go, Lord, that you would give her uh, just a consolement during this time of sorrow that she's not able to help, Lord, and that you would enable her to rest in your divine plan. We ask it in Jesus' name. We have another anonymous request from a sister who's asking us to pray regarding a relationship between her mom and her younger sister. Uh, It seems that there is a difficult tension there between the two of them. Uh, the, the requester says she understands her mother at times, but her sister is often argumentative toward her mother. Lord, I ask you to give them understanding of each other and the willingness to restore relationship with each other, Lord, that they would be able to come alongside each other with grace and with forgiveness, that there would be confession and repentance and, and forgiveness where needed, Lord that this relationship can be restored. We pray for someone to come alongside the mother who is not in the same location as the sisters and that that person could come along and encourage her in her faith, encourage her in her walk with Jesus, Lord, that you would provide this sister who's between the two who are at odds with each other, the strength and the love she needs to bring them together as a peacemaker, Lord. We pray it and we ask it in Jesus' name. Our sister Pamela has a handful of requests here. First off, she works in the healthcare field and feels that the the mandate to always wear a mask is just exhausting. Uh, She loves what she does, but she doesn't know how to handle uh, the situation and to appropriately make her voice heard. Lord, I ask that you would guide her. I ask that you would give her favor. I pray too, Lord, that the mandate about the masks would be relaxed in the healthcare field. Lord, the statistics do not warrant it. The need does not seem to be there. We pray, Lord, that you would cause all uh, indications and and, uh, motivations of political correctness and 
and virtue signaling and all those things that are causing foolish decisions to continue to be perpetrated on the populace to be changed, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name, you would cause wisdom to prevail and that people like Pamela can be sustained and strengthened through the release and the, and the removal of these mandates. Lord, I thank you also for Pamela as she uh, says she wants to pray for me and for my family that we'd be strength, strengthened, Lord, in what we're doing through the morning mindset and other things. Lord, I thank you for a sister like this who wants to be mindful of us. I ask you, Lord, to give us strength, to give us the wisdom we need to continue in the, the challenges we face in life as well as the needs of this ministry and the things that we do. Lord, thank you for the ability, for the health, for the mindset, for the the strength to every day be working on the things you've given us to put our hands to. We ask you to do what only you can do through the miraculous work of your word, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our sister Bonnie is asking us to pray for a family that is broken. There are five teenage daughters who are hurting for their parents. And Lord, the family needs restoration. So Lord, we ask you to step into this situation that we know very little about, but you know everything about. And Lord, to be the healer and the one to restore. Lord, whatever the sins that have caused this, whatever the division and selfishness and pride that has caused this, we ask you, Lord, to bring about the appropriate uh, contrition and repentance and forgiveness that needs to happen so that unity can be restored. Lord, do so for your glorious sake and for your name's sake, that you will shine in this situation, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Our sister Sarah is asking us to pray for her and for her son. They just got out of a situation of domestic violence, and it's been hard because they were in that relationship for a long time, and it has cost them in many areas. Sarah says her mental health, her state of mind is very weak. Her physical situation is very weak, and her finances are in a bad place. Lord, we ask that you would enable Sarah to provide for her son. Lord, that you would give her strength and stability the longer she's out of the abusive situation. Lord, that you would bring her healing, that others could come alongside, others from a church family that she could become connected with, will support her and encourage her and help her to gain her equilibrium and her strength to become healthy, to become strong, that she would uh, become psychologically strong, emotionally strong, and financially strong to be able to take care of her son. Lord, we praise you and thank you for what you're going to do in Sarah's life. Our sister Stephanie is asking us to pray for her and for her marriage. She's been married 17 years and they have struggled in their marriage in various ways due to her husband's addiction to pornography. And Lord, there have recently been setbacks on Stephanie's side of things as well. And she has repented. She's coming to you in, in humble repentance, but Lord feels there is spiritual attack involved. And, and Lord, we ask that you would deliver this man from the bondage of sexual addiction. We pray that you would deliver him from the evil forces and spiritual forces of wickedness that would keep him trapped there. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name you would liberate him, that you would bind those spiritual forces from being an influence in his life anymore. We pray that in his own psyche, in his own emotion, you would set him free as well, Lord, from the things that would cause him uh, to stay stuck in this place. And that, Lord, he and his wife would be able to move forward, Lord, that they would be able to lead their kids in a godly way, in a path of godliness and virtue, Lord, that this man would become a godly husband, a godly father, to lead this family toward Jesus, the glorious end of their faith, Lord. We ask you to do this in Jesus' name. Our brother Mark asks us to pray for him regarding a legal matter that has the potential to destroy his family. Lord, not knowing the details, we can only imagine what this might be. But Lord, we ask you to come alongside Mark with your grace and with your strength. Lord, to make the truth known, to make the truth known in a way that brings about your blessing and your glory for Mark and for his family. Lord, we don't really know how to pray, not knowing specifics, but we know that you are good and you do all things well. We pray that you will strengthen Mark's faith you will strengthen his family's faith during this time, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. And our sister Valerie is asking us to pray for her. She's being 
suppressed in her spirit, she says, uh, by an overwhelming feeling of fear and hopelessness. And the feelings come and go frequently, and it's affecting her health and her well-being. Lord, we ask that you would strengthen Valerie, that you would show her yourself, Jesus, that you would be her comfort and her portion. You would be her strength and her great reward, Lord, that you would cause her to banish fear and hopelessness from her life through the indwelling power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, and that you would enable her to be stable in her health and in her her mental and emotional state, Lord, that you would be her strength and her life. She also is asking us to pray for her relationship with her husband, She believes her husband has another woman on the side and she asks for uh, intervention, Lord, that he would end that relationship, that it would be broken and he would turn his heart back to her and to her family. Lord, we pray you would do that. You would bring this man to a place of grief over the, the covenant he's broken and his part in that, Lord, that he would repent of this sinful relationship, that he would cast off this adulterous woman and and his involvement with her, that he would have nothing more to do with her and that he would come back to his wife in humble repentance, humble contrition, and that he would make things right there at home. Lord, that you would guide him to yourself, that you would make him a godly man who is growing in humility and is growing in faith and is growing in the ability to lead his wife and his family in godliness and in righteousness, Lord. Show yourself to be mighty in this, Lord. Show yourself to be the healer of this relationship. We ask you to do it for all to see in obvious ways in Jesus' name. And Lord, we continue to pray for the needs that are represented through notaneedyperson.org. Thank you, first of all, for giving us that idea and that means of meeting the needs of believers in Jesus Christ through the generosity of other believers. Lord, we're thankful recently, I know, some of the needs that have been met. A a man in Africa who was in a a terribly difficult financial thing, and you even opened the door for us to find a way to get help to him. Thank you for that, Lord. We thank you also for providing the funds, the generosity of others to replace a roof on someone's home in Florida, and that you uh, did so in the perfect timing, Lord, right before the hurricane came through. The roof that was already leaking and already in bad condition was able to be replaced. And then the hurricane came through and and there were some sections of the roof that were destroyed, but the company came back and fixed those things for free because they had just repaired the roof. Thank you, Lord, for such provision. Thank you for such grace. And now, Lord, we know there are so many others on the website right now who need help. We know there are others who are on the waiting list, still in need of someone from our team to contact them. Lord, we pray for you to provide the generous funds to meet these needs in Jesus' name so that we can meet yet more needs, Lord. Bless those who give with the ability to give even more to meet the needs. We pray you would continue to provide for us in a way that enables every penny that is given to go to the needs, Lord, that we would not need administrative costs to be covered, but that it continues to be covered through the generous donations of those who are helping us do so. Lord, we pray you would specifically meet the needs of your people through not a needy person. In Jesus' name. Lord, I want to pray also for the podcast, God-fearing kids and the parents who raise them. As my wife and I continue to plan the topics that we talk about and continue to record those episodes, you would anoint us with your wisdom and with your power. And you do so in a spirit of humility. You would enable us to remember your great grace toward us, and then we can extend that to others, that we would remember the wisdom you've provided, and we could extend that to others related to the topic of parenting in a Christian way. Lord, we ask that you would help many parents to get to the hearts of their children and to guide their hearts to your heart, Lord, that a legacy of faith can be built for generations to come through the work that's being done there, Lord. Please further it, advance it, uh, pour out your blessing and your spirit on it, Lord, that many people would be helped, many homes would be transformed, and that our nation, our world can be built up through the virtue and power of godly families. And Father, finally, we continue praying for the morning mindset, for the daily encouragement it can be to people. I hear from people Seems every week, Lord, and my heart is so encouraged by what you're doing in their lives through a simple six-minute recitation and conversation about your word. 
Lord, your word is powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword, as your word says. It can be helpful for reproof, for rebuke, for training, for correction, and for building a righteous life. Lord, we're so grateful for what you're doing through Not a Needy Person. Continue doing it. Continue sending out your word in ways that will not return to you empty. We pray, Lord, you would use it to transform people and continue using me in teaching your word just to humbly provide the truth so others can be transformed by it, Lord. Give us the endurance and strength we need. Give us everything for life and for godliness in continuing this ministry, Lord. We pray it in your gracious name, in your powerful name, and for your glory that you will look good through what happens in Jesus' name. Well, friends, that is it for our requests for this episode of Pray Together. Thank you for praying with me. Again, if you have a request you would like to submit, you can go to carrygreen.com slash prayer. That link should be in the description for this episode. Thanks, friends. Join me again next Friday as we pray together.